What's on, ladies and gentlemen? My name's Ross. I like games. And today, we need to take a look at another new Tamer card. And if you were checking out my video yesterday, well, you probably can kind of get, as assuming you know much about the Switch games, of course, or PS4, you could have played them on there. You probably could have had a little bit of a guess as to what it is or who it is we're talking about today. It is Shiramine Nokia. And my apologies for my probably terrible pronunciation. Yeah, that's right. She's holding a phone and she's called Nokia. That amuses me too. But first, I need to say a massive thank you to anyone that's watching this is subscribed. Because it turns out today, while I was having a lazy daddy day with my children, hence why the upload is slightly later than usual, we passed 15,000 subscribers. Which I know isn't a huge milestone for a lot of people and it's still less than a quarter of me main channel. But 15,000, that seems like a proper milestone. So anyone that has gone and subscribed, you guys are awesome. Thank you very much. So what do we have here? Well, we've got a free cost tamer, which is slightly more than yesterday. I should mention, of course, yesterday we looked at one of the tamers from the Cyber Sleuth games that are available on Switch. Today we obviously have the other one. So we've got a free cost tamer, which is generally right in the middle of what we see for tamers. And this is another pretty good one. Translation from the lovely DTCG review. And when you play this, you may play one Agamon or Gabumon from your hand without paying its cost. That sounds pretty gosh darn good to me. That sounds like the kind of thing we can get a little bit excited about. Now, of course, one of the questions here, and it's not relevant for Gabumon, but it is relevant for Agamon here. Is it Agamon or is it a Digimon whose name contains Agamon? I.e., can you use Agamon Expert or Bushy Agamon here? Which, of course, would be hyper relevant because I'm totally talking about Bushy Agamon here. Bushy Agamon has got haste and is a five cost to play normally. Haste means you can attack the turn you play it. If this works with Bushy Agamon, and I'm fairly sure it doesn't, if this works with Bushy Agamon, I adore this trainer. Because now you're playing Bushy Agamon as a three cost rather than a five cost. And then you can just attack straight away. And the whole point of Bushy Agamon is you've got haste, which is awesome. But because you've got haste, we make you have to pay a little bit more in order to actually get rolling. It's more expensive to play, but it's awesome, so it's totally worth it. So no, I don't think you can use it. Plus, the translations we've got from TTCG Review and other places do seem to say kind of clearly it is a Digimon named Agamon or Gabumon, not a Digimon whose name contains Agamon or Gabumon. Although, like I've said, as it stands at the moment, we've only seen Gabumon. We've not actually seen any other variation on that name. So, yeah, we're looking all right here. So, if we really want to make the most of this, I mean, we do have a four-cost Gabumon. Came out as a promo card. It was actually in the original promo card pack, which is quite cool. And essentially here, what we've got is a four-cost to play normally. And when you play it, you may discard a Digivolution source from the bottom of one of your opponent's Digimon. Nobody really plays this one, but it's the only... It's the only Gabumon we've actually got right now that costs more than three and will therefore actually save you memory when you play it. It's not one I terribly recommend. Going over to Agamon here, and bearing in mind we've had a lot of Agamon. We can't use it for Bushy Agamon. I've said that. That's really sad. Boo, hiss, etc. But, you know, there are some others. I mean, I really like... The Agamon from the promo pack. Now, this is a five cost to play normally, so you're turning it from a five into a three. And when you play it, you destroy or delete one of your opponent's Digimon with 3,000 power or less. So, I genuinely really like this one. This one makes me really, really happy. And it's blatantly the best use for this. 
if you are just looking to essentially maximize your your memory that you're saving. Most of the time, in reality, what's going to happen here is you are just going to play the Agamon you were playing anyway, but you're going to play it more cheaply. You're essentially going to play it for free. And while we're here, it is really important to note that we do actually have an Agamon that we saw just the other day, which works beautifully here. Now, the translation card, or the translated card, I should say, does come from the lovely folks over at DigimonCard.dev. And essentially, when you play it, you reveal the top three cards of your deck, add a Digimon with Greymon and a Digimon with Omnimon in its name to your hand, putting the other cards on the bottom of your deck in any order. And this is spectacular here, because... You essentially play your Agamon for free, which is really good, and then you get to search out the other two cards as well, just in case playing this for free wasn't good enough. And it really is a combination of those two things happening at the same time super easily, which should make you a little bit happy here. This, to me, seems like what people are going to be trying to do here. Can't guarantee we're going to have to wait for these cars to be officially released, etc. But, to me, this seems like the optimal use for this. I love the Agamon from the starter, from the promo. I think that's brilliant. But then, by the same token, I think this new Agamon is really, really cool. Now, there is another thing here, because the thing to bear in mind, right, you're playing a free-cost Tamer, and you're playing a free-cost Agamon or Gabamon the vast majority of the time, so what you're essentially doing is actually playing the Tamer for free. So what else do we do here? When you Digivolve into a Digimon that has Greymon, Gururumon, or Omegamon in its name, rest this Tamer, and reduce the evolution cost by one. Oh. Yeah, this is really good. And again, we are going straight back here to playing Omegamon decks. Like, we're literally just going into Omegamon here. And that is all we're really worried about. We've got the new one that we saw the other day, that new Gabimon, the when you reveal the top three cards of your deck. You add a Digimon with Garurumon or Omnimon in its name into your hand. So we've got that, and we've got the Agamon that we saw just the other day. And now, when you evolve into a Greymon, Garurumon, or Omegamon, which essentially is like the entire line here, you're then gaining a memory. Now, in reality, you're doing it all at the same time. So what's actually happening here is that you're reducing the evolution cost by one, but... Either way, this sounds absolutely awesome to me. This seems like something we can totally get behind. And if you're playing Omegamon now, you have got really strongly to consider playing this Tamer. Because generally speaking, like there are a million Tamers out there that will gain you memory. Tamers gaining you memory is not a new or novel thing. It's what they've been doing... Well, I mean, like one of the first we ever saw was the Matt in the blue starter deck... And at the beginning of your turn, if your opponent has any Digimon with no Digivolution sources, you gain a memory. This is what Tamers have been doing since the beginning. And honestly, there are so many Tamers that can gain you memory, there's just not even any point going into it. Like half of them, no, I haven't counted, I could be way off. But loads of them have the same skill that says if you start your turn with one or two memory, it gets put up to three, Mimi Tachikawa being my particular favourite. And essentially what you're trying to do with all of these tamers is you are trying to get enough value to justify playing them. Well, you're going to end up playing a bunch of level 3s from your hand normally anyway. So as soon as you play this, you get the level 3 Agamon or Gabumon. So your tamer is essentially free. And then from there, every time you did evolve, you gain a memory. Which is redonkulous. Now, we also do need to be super clear here. You are resting the Tamer when you use this skill, so it's not actually every time you did evolve up. It's the first time every turn. But then again, you could play multiple Shiramines here, and then that would allow you to essentially did evolve multiple times during your turn. 
gaining a memory every time you do so. But if you're playing these Omega Mon decks or these Omnimon decks, you're going to be evolving into something with Greymon or Garuramon and then Omnimon as you go through the game. And it's not like you're even paying for this tamer. Like, hold it until you've got an Agamon or Gabamon that you want to play, depending on whether you're playing a red or blue deck. Play it down then essentially for free, and then the first time you use this skill, you're up. And if you use it three or four times, you're gaining three or four memory. This is going to get you that extra memory. It's going to essentially win the memory race to pay for itself way faster than... Well, honestly, like any other tamer we've seen this is a really really good one that i think we should all be getting a little bit excited about if you're playing a greymon garuramon or omega mon deck like a lot of red omnimon decks end up going through war greymon those decks are gonna love it a lot of blue omnimon decks go through metal garuramon those decks are going to love it Outside of those, like this isn't like the dude we looked at yesterday, which really could go into any deck, uh, either Takumi, as this ridiculous tamer. And I called it the best tamer yet, and I meant it. That's not what we're looking at today. This isn't an every deck tamer, and it's not the best tamer we've seen. But if you're playing an Agamon, Gabumon, Greymon, Garuramon, Omnimon deck, it is a great tamer and one that you should consider very strongly indeed. I'm giving this... Oh, I don't know. I'm giving this four Wossies. I think it's a really good card. And I honestly am already starting to regret that. But I've said it now, so I'm going to stick with it. But I want to know what you think. So let me know in the comment section, would you? Go nuts! Be nice. And then make sure you like this video, subscribe to this channel, follow me on Twitter at the Wasi. That's where we talk Digimon and all kinds of other fun games. And please do consider checking out patreon.com slash ptcgradio, where you can support the channel, get some bonus podcasts and all kinds of fun things. But by far the most important thing as always, look after yourselves till next time, would ya? Thank you very much for watching. My name's Ross, and you've been watching Wasi Plays.